first, I started buying Super Famicom games simply to get my hands on the classics. Super Mario World, Mega Man X, Final Fantasy VI, Super Metroid, A Link to the Past, and so on. I never had a Super Nintendo as a kid, but I knew it was a great system, and it was because of classics like that. But I underestimated the rest of its game library, and as I kept buying games for the system, I didn't expect finding so many hidden gems. It was this game, Magical Poppin, that finally made me truly realize how great the Super Nintendo really is. Magical Poppin is about the cutest game I own. Much of that is because of the main character, a little girl dressed in blue, with a hat similar to Link's, and voiced by Ai Ijima, the Japanese Cinderella who made the journey from Runaway to Porn Star to Legitimate Television and Movie Star to Dying Alone in her apartment in 2008. Quite a downer, actually, but her voice certainly livens up this game. From shouting when fighting an item or just small exertion noises, her voice adds a lot of personality to an already expressive game. Magical Poppin is a quality 2D platformer through and through. You attack with a sword and a special attack, or a tool that you can switch between with L and R. You start out with a beam and will gain a new one per level, like a lollipop bomb that can break certain walls, and a chain that lets you swing around. The chain is free to use, but the weapons all use stars, and the amount it uses varies with each. You start the game with three hearts for a life bar, which can be replenished by eating candy or cake, and extended by picking up hearts. You start out with two lives, and you can get more by finding a golden version of your own head. Actually, you need to find three of them before you get the extra life, and they're pretty well hidden too, so to get them, you need to explore. Exploring is good, but really you should get the extra life with just one. And that is just about my only complaint for this game. The rest of this review will be spent gushing at how great it is. <clears throat> the control is great. I can do all those little things that I find lacking in other games, like slash upward, jump down from platforms, slide, crouch and attack, and being able to do a down thrust while jumping. Jumping off and forward from the chain takes a bit of practice, but it seems that the key is to hold up on the d-pad as you jump off, lest you fall straight down. The sense of progression in the stages is great, particularly in the first stage when it starts at a rainy night, then when you see the sky for the next time the rain has subsided, and at the end of the stage it's turning to dawn. It gives off the impression that time has passed as you made your way from A to B. Why didn't more games do that? I said before how the game is cute, but really, it's so cute! Everything the girl does is cute. From how she drops on her butt after a long drop, how she bounces on the bed, or that little gasp she does when ducking. The enemies look funny too, and some seem slightly intelligent, like the werewolf-looking enemy that jumps when you attack. The bosses are nice and varied, from smaller ones like the magician in the beginning that throws furniture at you, to a big snowman with a mustache. The graphics are very good, each locale looks like they should, and detail like the houses in the background in the beginning, or the stormy sky effect also in the beginning. The best part of the graphics are the expressions and the design of the girl and the enemy stuff. The music is very good too. It starts out very lively, but also has some slower themes, and goes surprisingly metal for the boss battles. And it also has one of the grooviest beats since the Battletoads pause music. Magical Poppin is an amazing game, and it really embodies the term hidden gem. It's hidden in four regards. One, it's a forgotten game in general, and it only came out in Japan and isn't part of any series. Two, it's rare and hard to come by in general. Three, looking for it online, it's not impossible to confuse it with other games like Poppin Magic, Popful Mail, Poppin Twin Bee, or even Magical Drop. Four, the price. On eBay it goes for 1,700 to 2,500 US dollars. Cartridge only, 250. At least for boxed, that's more than Little Samson or even Gimmick. Unless you're rich or want to sell your car or something to pay for it, you could do as I did and get your hands on a reproduction cartridge. You should get your hands on this game any way you can, really. It's wonderful. It's a game that never fails to make me smile, and it reminds me why I love video games. At the end of the day, I just really love playing a good game. And Magical Poppin brings that love out in full force. It must be doing something right.